Hello? Yes, Governor, hello. How, how can I help you? Of course I understand. Thank you, Governor. Okay. If he wants his nephew to get an A in your course, say no, at least until the second offer. He wants me to facilitate a death certificate. Chelsea Rossberger passed away last night, cancer. Guess they were close. Mm. Would you like to come with me or should I take my own car? Oh, how long does facilitating take? If I'm just signing, 15 minutes. Yeah, all right, I'll take it. Oh, that would be great, thanks. Uh, you do understand that this is a favor to the governor? Yes, I was right here when he asked you a minute ago. That means no Downton Abbey jokes. Okay, no problem. You promise? I promise. Okay. Milady. <laughs> That's a little unnecessary. Oh, shoot. What's wrong? I left my monocle in the car. You didn't last 30 seconds. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do if I get surprised? Normally, I would gasp and the monocle would pop out of my eye socket. Very funny. But just snarky remarks are rife with errors. It's your eye orbit, not socket. And while monocles were very common in the 1880s, by 1912, when Downton Abbey takes place, upper class men wore glasses due to advances in optometry, allowing for better measurement of refraction. So the joke is on you. Really? Oh, and the reason you don't know that is because you've never stayed awake long enough to see one full episode. It's called meditating. It's how I focus. You've never respected that. A puddle of drool makes it hard. I can't sign the death certificate. Well, there's a very fancy pen over there if yours isn't working. Her bedclothes are soaked with sweat, and there are fresh bite marks inside of her mouth indicating violent seizures. I don't know how she died, but I know it wasn't the cancer that killed her. Well, then you need to do an autopsy. Well, in a perfect world, but there are certain sensitive hierarchical issues. Because Dr. Elbow Patches over there is the chief medical examiner of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. No, wait. You are problem solved. Dr. Isles, are you quite finished? Yes, thank you. I'm afraid this is a suspicious death and I'm ordering an autopsy. You can't do that. I'm the chief medical examiner, so I respectfully disagree. Hi. I'm Detective Jane Rizzoli, Boston Homicide. Um, if you're quite finished, we'll take it from here. I'm calling the governor. Great, do it outside. This is now a crime scene. See, if he was wearing a monocle, we would know if he was shocked or horrified. Now we can only suspect. <laughs>